How was it? I I really want to have a very, very um, interesting and objective conversation with you right now uh, because I know that you're one of the most objective, intelligent, and level headed young Zambians who are who is also very concerned about the day to day happenings in our country. I, I follow you very well in so many. Um, aspects of your life, the way you conduct yourself in public, the way you comment on social issues in our country, and even just the way you use it in your own social media. I, I follow you so well and I'm always waking up in the morning trying to read something from you. And one of the things currently that you've been writing a lot about in a very passionate manner is uh, the issue of our loss, our great loss as a nation. And I know that you and I are very very touched and moved um, following the demise of uh, of uh, a young vibrant female student of the University of Zambia who came all the way from the village of Namwala to be able to pursue uh, her you know higher education studies her tertiary education studies at Unza and she had dreams big dreams and she was there studying for four long years and her parents had invested so much money uh, so much time and at this particular time obviously they were even preparing for her graduation maybe they were preparing to buy her a gift of uh, their savings from the farming that they do in the village of namwala and this young lady's life is suddenly cut short because she suffocates as a result of a tear gas that has been fired in her room where she's trying to hide from from participating in a riot. She doesn't want to be a part of this demonstration and she wants to be in a safe place. Yes. But it, apparently what we may regard as a safe place is not even a safe place. Okay. I am I'm telling to understand the reasoning from some sections of our society out yeah. there, especially yeah. when they try to talk, talk about this issue and look at it like it's a political issue, when it's supposed to be a human rights issue. Why are you so touched about this whole issue? Why are you so passionately pushing for justice and for somebody to say something? I feel like if we fail to get justice for this us, we are not failing this, but we are failing ourselves yeah. as a society. I think that we will be rotting. I want, I want to learn the world because the things that we will be tolerating and condoning will not only start trickling to strangers, but they will come close to us. Mm -hmm. You know, and I feel like it shouldn't get to that. Mm -hmm. This bus, unfortunately, is like a sacrificial one for us to wake up. Because um, if you are going to talk to the students, as B flow. What do you tell them? When your friends decide to run to the roadside, what are you going to advise them to do? Isn't it to stay away from the roadside? To stay away from blocking the road and from breaking um, innocent people's cars. cars. Yeah, huh? So as B flow you are telling people, refrain from violent yes. acts, mm -hmm. refrain from vandalism, mm -hmm. refrain from riotous behavior. Yeah. Stay in your rooms. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Nobody had to tell Vespas to do so. She yeah. was morally upright. Yeah. She told herself, I'm not going to break a stranger's car. I'm going to stay, stay in, in my, my room. room. And that was a wrong choice apparently by the police because yes. for her to choose to stay, she received the canister that killed her. Mm. So I feel like her life was stolen. And that's why I'm so passionate about it, because if a life is lost, we shouldn't focus on the wrongs of the student, the wrongs of the government, the wrongs of anybody else. Mm -hmm. The blame life. game. Yes. Mm -hmm. We all lose okay. when we blame each other. Mm -hmm. Here we're not looking for who to blame, we're looking for justice. Mm -hmm. That's all. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm so passionate, because I feel like mm -hmm. this is a child mm -hmm. of two poor people. Mm -hmm. They are not the elite in the society. Mm -hmm. And we should be the voice of the voiceless, the voice of the poor. You and I were just recording a song earlier today um, at Rona Side with TK. And there's something you added on the song that just really touched my heart. And 
uh, I know that the, the song is, is now available on um, zambianmusicblog.co and you, you spoke about you spoke about how this child should not have died in such a manner or like nobody deserves to die in, in such a manner and I just totally agree with you I totally agree with you and I really, really hope everybody can download this song mm. because the things that you address, not only are you addressing the the lyric in your lyrics, mm. how police brutality is wrong, but you're also addressing the students. Yes. How violence is not right. Mm. It's not a right way to communicate with yeah. the government. Mm. And you're also addressing the government to not overlook mm. the death of Vespers mm. because they are all zooming into the behavior yeah. or what could have inspired the behavior or if the right was even unlawful. Mm. It's not really about the students, it's about the loss of life. Mm who takes ownership of this result. And one disappointing thing about our country, generally all of us as citizens, we have a tendency of talking about something for a short period of time, sometimes only on social media, and it ends there, we don't take action. Look at you, you've taken action, you've talked about it, you've pushed using your platform and your influence, you've even done a song about it, and you've, you've shared some great plans already, some more things that you wish to do about this. And, and I just love that. What I don't like is an issue as important as this Vespers justice issue yeah. to just suddenly die down like, like nothing ever happened. And especially when it comes to issues of no, we're working on it, or we're somebody should, it. should investigate or should take responsibility, and people rightfully say, okay, this is what is going to happen. But then the whole issue just goes quiet. It has happened a lot in history. We've had many examples that we can cite here, we don't even have to go into that, um, where people would say, this will be dealt with. But up to, the, to this day, we don't actually just get any report. And so right now, all we seek for is that justice. And we hope that somebody can take responsibility. It doesn't even matter who it is. Yeah. It doesn't even matter which section of society they're coming from. But we should be able to reach a consensus as, as Zambians and okay. agree on something. But let's ensure that that soul rests in peace. And let's ensure that that family somehow should should feel cared for. Yeah. They shouldn't feel like the nation failed them, or they just we just ignored them, or we we we, we mourned with them briefly for three days, yeah. and after that we just said, okay, it has happened, and that's it. Yeah. It may happen next time to another person. Another sister. thing that is so important is that if we do not speak for first pass, they could be. A few more other mm -hmm. you know. We don't want to lose any more university students. We don't want to lose any more citizens of Zambia yeah, yeah, yeah. because of such a. Thing. And it may not just be in a university center; yeah. it can be anywhere else also where something like this can happen. So, yeah, well, like I said, we're not doing this for Vespa Zakali because she's resting now. We need to do this for us. And I like the example that you usually like to give. Like in the last three days, I followed you, and you've been saying, if it was a child of certain people in society, obviously certain things should, would may not have gone the way they went for Vespers. Yeah. But because, maybe because she's from a village or because it's Vespers or because she's just ordinary, yeah. it can simply happen to her and if it, if it can happen to her then it can happen to any other ordinary citizen of Zambia because our safety is compromised. Yeah. And no, that's no. why we keep talking about we keep talking about the people that are supposed to protect us should not become the people that oppress us. It should never be like that. I love the word you spoke. Yeah. So before we end, do you have any messages for the youth, the government, beyond even just the song? I like that. To the youth and the government. Forget the politics. This is not partisan politics. Let's talk about human rights and let's talk about humanity and having a heart for that which really matters, which is our livelihood, all of us. Let us work together. Let us just come together. Like our forefathers always taught us, 
our our motto, our tagline, one Zambia, one nation. Why can't we just unite and live together as one? And it should never get to a point where we start stoning each other or shooting each other or firing tear gas uh, towards each other. It should be about dialogue, coming together and sorting things out in an amicable manner. I think we can still do this. I really believe in this country and I'm so passionate that somebody watching this video today will act in a more amicable way. In a, in a better way than, than we have been acting lately. Let's work together and sort out the many challenges that this country is facing until we get to a point where we can all be happy again. To add on to what you said, yeah. we would like to address the police. We have nothing against the police. Biflo, Biflo's mother was actually the police. My mother, actually my mother um, died on duty. She was, she was a police officer. Yeah, my mother was a police officer and I so can never have, have anything I can never have anything police, against yeah. the police service. What but I you? just wouldn't like it to be a police force. Yeah. I wouldn't want it to go back to being a police force. I would love it to be a police service where when we see a man or woman in uniform, we should smile and feel happy and safe. safe. We should not feel intimidated and hopeless, like something strange, something bad is going to happen to me. That's all we are saying, Same. nothing against We have nothing against the police. All we need now is justice yeah. for Vespa's. May her soul rest in peace. May her soul rest in peace.